Imagine a world where you would never have to troubleshoot desktops again. It, it actually starts to sound like a, one of those bad movie trailers. Uh, but seriously, though, imagine if there was, was this world where you really didn't have to troubleshoot most desktop problems because when a user had a problem, well, they just click a button that would self-service them a desktop refresh. It sounds ludicrous, but it, with Configuration Manager 2012 these days, it's something that you can actually achieve. And in fact, in this uh, recent series from CBT Nuggets on the 70-415 exam, I show you exactly how to accomplish that self-service desktop refresh. You'll be amazed. This is no movie go back here into my start menu and then just run software center just manually. So here inside of config manager is the there is the application catalog and then there's also software center and the combination of these two are what presents the the, the range of different installable pieces of software that a client can actually use. Now I am logged in as a user Okay, I'm not an admin, I am just a regular standard user here. And I, as a user, I was just notified that, hey, I've got new pieces of software, maybe I should go check it out. This piece of software here, Install Windows 8, is now available for me if I, if I want to use it. Now, in my case, I would probably change this to maybe refresh my system. Uh, or something that's a little bit more descriptive to the users. But if I want to actually run it, I just need to hit the install button and it will actually begin this process of refreshing this computer. Let's go ahead and click the install button here and kick off this installation. So you'll see here we get a little bit of an error message, uh, not an error message, I guess, just a notification. Be aware that what you're about to do is install a new operating system and it could take a pretty long period of time. All the existing data on your computer will be removed. Now, when you do this, because we have USMT, there may be some socializing you'll need to do with your users to make sure they put stuff in the right location, or maybe some customization of USMT to make sure this occurs correctly. But if you've got all the building blocks in place, you can click the Install Operating System button and kick off exactly what we're attempting to do here. Want to learn more? Check out cbtnuggets.com.